In 1999, researchers unexpectedly encountered a celestial marvel situated approximately 40 light-years away. TRAPPIST-1, a red dwarf star. At that moment, they were unaware of the remarkable discovery that awaited them. 17 years later, our telescopes unveiled the initial planets orbiting this M-type star, and the subsequent year brought the revelation of four more planets within its cosmic embrace. Today, TRAPPIST-1 stands as the most extensively examined planetary system, rivaling the attention given to our own solar system. Each of its seven worlds shares a rocky composition, bearing a striking resemblance in mass and size to our Earth, with some potentially harboring more water than our planet's oceans. For an extended period, researchers faced challenges in examining distant worlds. However, significant advancements have occurred with the operationalization of the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, the inquiry turns to the habitability of the TRAPPIST-1 system and the potential experience of living on one of its planets. Let's explore these questions and delve into additional details. The James Webb Space Telescope is a super powerful telescope. It found out some things about the TRAPPIST-1 system. TRAPPIST-1 is an M-type red dwarf, which is the most prevalent in our galaxy and the most active stars we know of, emitting powerful flares several times a day. Recent observations have spotlighted TRAPPIST-1b, the closest planet to the star in this system. Findings indicate that TRAPPIST-1b likely possesses either an extremely thin atmosphere or none at all, resembling a barren rock with scorching surface temperatures reaching 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Its proximity to the parent star, akin to Mercury in our solar system, situates it beyond the habitable zone, making it inhospitable for life as we know it. Moving a bit farther away, there's another planet circling the red dwarf, called TRAPPIST-1c. Initially, scientists thought this second planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system was similar to Venus. However, the James Webb Telescope's data showed that wasn't the case. Unlike Venus, this planet doesn't have a thick atmosphere. Although the daytime temperatures on its surface are still very high, around 225 degrees Fahrenheit, it turns out to be the coldest rocky planet ever studied using this new method. The tough conditions on these planets likely caused water to evaporate a long time ago, even if it was there initially. However, a recent study suggests that the other planets in the system might have stayed cold enough for water to endure, either as liquid or frozen. The lightest planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system, TRAPPIST-1d, is only about 30% as massive as Earth and has a radius of around 80% of our planet. Due to its small mass, it likely lacks a dense atmosphere and abundant heavy elements. Despite this, it shares some similarities with Earth, receiving a comparable amount of solar radiation from its star, which is positioned just inside the habitable zone. The planet's temperature, assuming no atmosphere, would be around 48 degrees Fahrenheit. In comparison, if Earth lacked a greenhouse effect, its surface temperature would be freezing at about zero degree Fahrenheit. What makes TRAPPIST-1d particularly intriguing is its potential to host a remarkable 250 times more water than Earth. Scientists speculate that the planet might be covered by a global ocean, offering an environment suitable for certain forms of life. Some life forms on Earth thrive through chemosynthesis rather than relying on sunlight for energy. This raises the possibility that TRAPPIST-1d could be a unique habitat for life independent of sunlight. Additionally, if the planet possesses a thin atmosphere, its twilight zone, the boundary between the night and day sides, could also be conducive to habitability. Among the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, TRAPPIST-1e stands out as the most promising for potential human habitation. It boasts a density and composition that align with Earth, possibly featuring a rocky surface. Positioned within the habitable zone of its parent star, TRAPPIST-1e might harbor a thick, oxygen-rich atmosphere, with hydrogen likely having escaped due to its light nature. 
a positive outcome given hydrogen's role as a greenhouse gas. If TRAPPIST-1e initially had more water than Earth and retained it, its climate could resemble ours over time. Considered one of the most Earth-like planets ever discovered, TRAPPIST-1e offers a unique environment. A year on this planet lasts about seven Earth days, and due to its proximity to the star, all seven planets in the system are tidally locked, presenting a perpetual sunset or sunrise on one side. The sky would exhibit a reddish hue, and the other planets would appear like moons, some larger than Earth's moon. On the day side, human settlement might be plausible, with a climate featuring storm clouds, massive dust storms, and temperature variations conducive to complex ecosystems. This environment would also generate powerful winds, tornadoes, and hurricanes. The night side, however, would be harsh, with arctic cold and towering glaciers dominating the landscape. Despite the constant twilight, it provides an advantage, especially for the first settlers. Some scientists propose that flares from the TRAPPIST-1 star could benefit nearby planets. These flares, while energetic, could have kick-started the formation of essential molecules like amino acids, crucial for life's building blocks. Although high-energy radiation from flares poses risks, it may also provide the energy needed for early life forms to develop. To mitigate potential hazards, colonizers could construct specialized shelters resembling bunkers, equipped with shielding materials and advanced life support systems. These shelters would serve as refugees during periods of intense space radiation. Despite the challenges, the planet's gravity, approximately 93% that of Earth, would facilitate familiar movements for settlers. TRAPPIST-1f is situated at a greater distance from its parent star, receiving only a third of the starlight compared to Earth from the Sun. This makes the planet much cooler. Without an atmosphere, TRAPPIST-1f's surface temperature would be approximately negative 74 degree Fahrenheit, causing any existing water to freeze. The same icy fate awaits the two outermost planets, TRAPPIST 1g and h, despite being water rich according to data. TRAPPIST 1g, being about 30% more massive than Earth, might retain its atmosphere if it preserves a heat distributing layer and features active volcanism producing greenhouse gases. It could be a water world or possibly harbor a subsurface liquid water ocean, concealing exotic forms of life. The seventh planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system, orbiting in a region comparable to the space between Mars and Jupiter in our solar system, receives minimal stellar radiation. TRAPPIST-1H's estimated surface temperature is a bone-chilling negative 148 degree Fahrenheit. TRAPPIST-1, an aging star, has been cooling for 7.6 billion years. Initially, the nearby planets faced extreme conditions due to intense heat. Theoretically, this heat should have turned any water on these planets into vapor, concentrating it in their atmospheres. Subsequently, as powerful stellar winds struck, the water would escape into space. Recent research suggests that the TRAPPIST-1 planets may not have heated up enough to melt their crust and mantle into molten rock. This implies that a substantial amount of water might still be trapped within the rocks, even after the star has cooled down. Presently, the conditions on these planets could be extreme. While red dwarfs like TRAPPIST-1 are known for their long lifespans, the seven TRAPPIST worlds have billions and trillions of years ahead, undergoing numerous stages of evolution. Eventually, what is currently inhospitable, either scorching or freezing, may transform into a more welcoming environment, potentially teeming with life as we understand it. In the coming years, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is expected to reveal more about these Earth-like planets. So, stay tuned to not miss out on the significant discoveries in space science. Share your thoughts on the potential for life in our cosmic neighborhood, and thank you for watching. These videos might catch your interest. I highly suggest that you watch them.